hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is abasha and welcome to the slay squad so today it's going to be quite of a different vlog i really am not sure how long it would be because i have tried filming this video on two different occasions actually three different days and it has not worked out so what it is it's a, a wear test for the lipstick and it is this lipstick that I am wearing and it is by Maybelline. It is the Maybelline Matte Ink in the shade 50 Voyager and you can get them from um, Jumia. I've seen on Jumia and also Kafo usually has Maybelline stands. They go for around either 1600 or 1800 each. So I have noticed that the lipstick already stays on quite, you know, Sometimes I just want to put it on record for myself and you know for anyone else like maybe you're getting married and you know lipstick is really crucial because you don't want to be reapplying your lipstick every few minutes. So I just want to check um, how long it lasts. So I've literally just applied it. Let's check for the time. It is 10.46 currently. I've not yet had my breakfast, so I want to have my breakfast. And then after that, we'll do the first checking. And to eat really, really quickly because I have class and I'm late already today. It has been such a slow morning. Like, you know how you wake up and then it's like you get a million things to do before you actually need to leave. It's not that I woke up late. I woke up on time, but then I just wasted so much time. So, yeah, I want to eat breakfast and then I will show you guys the after. So it's like 10 minutes later, I've just finished my breakfast, I've eaten so quickly, I feel like the food has not even gone <laughs> all the way down yet, but I'll show you guys my cup, so I don't know if you can see on my cup, like the corner of my lips really transferred. My theory is that maybe it's like excess lipstick that I applied, because I tend to apply a bit more on the sides but apart from that as in it doesn't really look like any of it has come off but it has definitely transferred a whole lot on the sides of my lips kwanza i don't know i hope you can see it there yeah but other than that i think i still look okay i just ate um eggs tea namkate and a banana so yeah i will check with you guys once i am out of class hey guys so it is um 13 33 pm and here is how my lipstick is doing i've not really done anything that will make the lipstick come out so apart from chocolate i've eaten chocolate but yeah it's still intact so what i want to do is i want to go for tungong road to look for one a curling wand and to do my nails this is how my nails look like right now it's a hot hot mess i want to go to what is it called foreigners nail bar so i don't think i'll get them redone i'll just remove this currently foreigner nail bar is literally the only nail place i currently trust like with my nails um a lot of you guys have been asking about this ones so where they were done they were done at a place called cardenia it's at kilimani i think the place is called kilimani i will link them down below and okay i had done a video on the place and i was going to upload it but something happened when i got home with my nails i don't know if it's i was the one who just had bad luck or if the technique was wrong i don't know because i've never seen this happening so i don't know if you can see let me let me try put it well look over here you can see like here the nail started like chipping away so i've really never seen gel polish do that and i do want to recommend a place and then I don't know you guys go and end up disappointed because i know you guys a lot of you guys value my opinion and if i say like hey go check this place out you actually would so i don't know like i felt a bit iffy when that happened because i've never seen it happening with gel polish so i want to go and get this removed but other than that they did a great job because you can see like this um water nail art design so i think maybe i'm just the one who had bad luck because it was only those two nails on this hand that started peeling immediately I got home just a few hours later so we're going to go do the nails and then get the curling wand yeah and get food <laughs> no we're not <laughs> and get food and then yeah I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of the lipstick
I have just left uh, Foina's nail bar. By the way, in case I didn't mention, it's on Gong Road at uh, Bermuda Plaza. I will link them down below in the description, but in case you want to check them out. Foina nail bar literally never disappoints me. Like, each time I go there, a one experience. So this is how, hey man, it can't even be seen. But my nails are like a gold color. And it also has some um, gold um, specks as well. So like depending on the angle that you're looking at the nail let me see if it looks different here shadow because depending on how you're looking at it the color is a bit different i don't know maybe when we get to the house and there's like a nice shadow i can be able to show you guys but i think it's really pretty it looks like um something that i would go for if i was like getting married <laughs> or something and for prices it was 300 shillings to remove the gel polish and then 1000 shillings for the manicure and 500 shillings for the polish so in case you know maybe you can want to just get removed the gel polish and do a manicure then it'll be 1300 but if you want to add the polish then it's 1800 in total but i love them i think here yeah, now you can see them nicely it's such a pretty color like since they were done i've just been looking at them in different lighting and i love it yeah oh by the way i asked the lady who was doing my nails she's called valerie so valerie told me that the reason that the nail can chip is after like those showing you guys my previous gel polish had started chipping she told me either fake polish was used or it didn't try it didn't dry it try it didn't dry so i'm 100 percent sure that the polish that was used wasn't fake so i think it's because that those two fingers where it had chipped we had done an extra coat to cover a design that had been done before that i didn't like so i think that's why it started chipping because that extra coat didn't dry enough so yeah i think cardenia is also safe to try if you really, really liked the nail art that she did then definitely go and check them out but other than that yeah i think um extremely extremely happy with my nails so far and for now i'm going to go and get food by the way it is 16:34. it's 4:34. here's how the lipstick is doing everything is still intact but of course i've not yet eaten and eating you know is the main test so i'm to go and get some chicken wings kfc chicken wings and then we can really see how it performs then i'll get like sticky wings that we can really really check how it performs so yeah let's go do that so it is currently um 6 41 so that means i've had the lipstick on for let's say almost eight hours in like 20 minutes it will be eight hours and guys i ate like i ate chicken wings but i was so hungry like i rushed into the house and after i finished eating it then i was like eh i was supposed to document this thing but then i went after like you said and have food on my cheeks still but after i ate i went to like check on how my lipstick was and guys it had almost not changed at all and i was like wow now how am i supposed to convince people that i ate so i literally carried my kfc bag upstairs <laughs> so that i can show you guys proof that i actually had um here it is like there's the sticky wings and the fries right there so as you can see wait as in i'm even going this fat proof to get on avenue it looks clean yeah i had sticky wings and fries as well it was really good but my lipstick almost looks like nothing has changed apart from the inside oh and even like here at the side as well i don't know is the lighting nice okay let me move a bit closer okay there so you can see like at the side and also maybe on the inside part of my lip it's the only place that there's a big difference because you can see when I close my mouth, yeah, can tell that it has moved a bit. But literally, that's like the only thing, and this sauce on my cheek is not coming out. So yeah, I think that's like really nice for a lipstick that I've had the entire day. I want to also have dinner so that I can be able to judge it now one last time. I'll probably take a shower. I mean like my supposed to be off shoulder. Man, you shut behave for the camera. <laughs> so 
I changed because I want to film a video and to do a what's in my bag. Probably it will go up before this video. So that's why I'm in my filming room. It has been a while since I've been here because the, there was a problem with the light but it got fixed. And so the time I've been away, I've been forgetting to water Ivy. So guys, she's like dying like a slow death. Let me show you guys. Just look. Wait, how do I zoom with this camera? Ah, oh, there. I don't think I even need to zoom. Like it's already so clear how... She's just dying. I hope she survives because I mean she was an expensive plant. But oh well, there's only so much you can do. So yeah, I guess I am going to finish this video, edit it, finish up on schoolwork, and then I will eat dinner, probably shower, and then I'll come back with a final check for the lipstick and also to close up this vlog. So it has been officially about 11 hours since I put the lipstick on. I think it's safe to say that it stays on because I've had chapo and you know how oily chapo usually is. I really thought that's what would uh, make the lipstick come off a lot but I don't think it's moved as much. It's definitely moved because I can see like on the inside so um what i've gotten from this lipstick is that it won't start coming out from like uku or in the center of the lip it'll start moving from the inside and my upper lip really hasn't moved it's the lower one that it's starting to like come down but other than that it's a comfortable matte lipstick there's a wide range of colors i definitely recommend it the video is not sponsored by the way i just really like this lipstick because you guys know I will not give away comfort for especially lipsticks like I'd rather wear a glossy lip because um, there was a point that the matte lipsticks the formula just started getting too uncomfortable to wear so I moved into the um, glossier lipsticks but once I discovered this ones man I've been loving it it's like a very very comfortable matte lipstick so I guess that is it for this week's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time good night